Good morning, Richland High School, and thank you for viewing Ram TV. My name is Brady Thomas. And I'm Allie Black. Today is Tuesday, March 4th, 2014. Today is also Fat Tuesday. Woo! Tomorrow is Blue Day. Here is what is happening in Ram Nation. Tuesday, March 4th, 5, 10 p.m., ice hockey, boys, freshman, varsity versus Ferndale. Lunch menu, hot Italian grinder on a hoagie roll. Math tutor. If you need a math tutoring today, please contact your study hall teacher. Student council, blacklight dance. Student council will be sponsoring a blacklight dance for grades 9 through 12 tonight from 7 until 9.30 in the cafeteria. Tickets are on sale during lunch periods. Buy your tickets ahead of time for $3 or pay 5 at the door. Dodgeball time. Packets for an annual dodgeball tournament will be available in the guidance office today. All information, including permission forms, entry fees, and t-shirt orders, must be turned into the guidance office by, by a captain in one packet by March 17th. There are also order forms available for staff t-shirts. Senior night t-shirt orders. Wait. No, I'm sorry. Senior t-shirt orders need to be turned into the guidance office today. Boys tennis. Attention, Varsity Boys Tennis. There will be a practice at North Fork today from 4 to 6 p.m. Junior high track. 7th and 8th grade, 8th grade track will start tomorrow. There will be a short meeting in the cafeteria during homeroom today. Please see Miss Bailey if you have any questions. Food drive. Ice cream party. It could be yours. Bring your canned food now. TSA. Attention all TSA members. TSA workdays will now be held Mondays and Thursdays from 3 to 4.40. A bittersweet symphony attention singers. You are invited to audition to be a part of the concert on May 18th with the Del Borgo starring Assemble called A Bittersweet Symphony. Auditions will be held in the theater on Monday, March 10th, immediately following school. The concert will be feature popular indie alternative and classic rock hits according accompanied by <laughs> Richland's own instructions for information and sign up for an audition, please visit the technology office for an ad audition packet or see Ms. Mr. Easley. Football meeting. There will be f meetings for all football players who plan on participating in football next season on Thursday, March 6th during lunchroom at C-105. Players should report to C-105 immediately after going through the line in the food court. The upcoming liftathon and off-season program will be discussed. 2014 Cinderella Project. The Cinderella Project will host dress try-on days on Saturday, March 15th, and Saturday, March 22nd, from 12 until 3 at the Johnstown YWCA on Somerset Street. Come try on cho and choose a gown, shoes, and accessories for your perfect prom night. All items will be provided on a first-come, first basis. UPJ Financial Aid and FA and FAFSA workshops. The University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown is offering FAFSA completion days. The FAFSA completion days to assist students and their families with completing FAFSA online are scheduled for March 21st from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Reservations are required for the FAFSA workshops by calling 269-7045. 2014 Congress Congressional STEM competition. The first annual Congressional Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics STEM academic competition is a wonderful opportunity to showcase the incredible talent in the 12th con Congressional District. The first annual event seeks to promote participation, creativity, and interest in the STEM education field. This year, students are tasked with creating an app. The app can either be working or simply a fully developed concept. High school students in grades 9 through 12 residing in Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District are eligible to participate. Students may complete individually or in teams from up to four. Students entering the competition must submit their app's source code online by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or on April 30, 2014, as well as to provide a YouTube or Vimeo video demo explaining what their app and what they learned through this completion process. To enter, the students must create an account on www.challengepost.com during the competition submission period. All entries must be original in concept, design, and accept. Exception. Hey, Brant, this is an announcement I was talking about yesterday. If it's okay with you. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Career announcement. In Pennsylvania, the agricultural and food production cluster has an average annual wage of approximately 33000 or to 35000 when you average in higher paying jobs such as vet veterinarians. However, experienced workers can earn substantially higher wages. Many jobs in this cluster require on-the-job training or minimal experience, <laughs> and uh, lower average wages can reflect that. Entry-level positions in landscaping and groundskeeping are plentiful. 
Experienced farming and forestry supervisors who oversee the work performed by gardeners, groundskeepers, and forestry workers can earn wages in the $50,000 range. Here are some Rant TV shorts. Have a fabulous day. Happy Fat Tuesday. Your lungs burn. Your legs ache. Your mind says stop. Your body begs to rest. Your drive says never surrender. Dodgeball tournament Friday, April 4th. Teams of six to eight players. Forms available in the guidance office. Be there. Nice one, son. You'll be an all star yet. Just remember the five D's of dodgeball dodge, duck, dip, dive, and die. Yeah, um, shouldn't we, like, Learn by dodging balls that are thrown at us, or...? That's what this sack of wrenches is for. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. Oh. If you can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. Oh.